Hello everyone! This is Body Binks and welcome back to Kindergarten! Last episode, we were able to complete Cindy's mission. That hor horrible little girl. I'm so glad we don't have to help her anymore, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, now we'll be able to do somebody else's. So, what's this? This is the flower Cindy gave to me. Whew, excuse me. Uh, for being a good boyfriend all day. Perhaps I could show it to someone who needs a little love in their life. Uh, we're not going to bring that yet. Because I don't think we need that. Um, this is just showing our Monster Man card. This is the Sneaky Snake card. It is so sneaky, we're not even sure this is a picture of it. Okay. This is the Cyclops Duckling card. It's not a species or anything. It's just a duckling that had its left eye pecked out by a bigger duckling. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking... Let me look at the hints... Oh, bring a dollar to house just in case. Well, we didn't need it. Maybe I, I chose the right stuff. When playing house with Cindy, it's normally safe to disagree with her. <laughs> Cindy doesn't know what vegan means. You can get her a biscuit ball from the janitor or a salad from Monty. Yeah. Bucket of blood on the floor. Show the flower at show and tell while Bugs isn't there and Cindy will let you keep it. So if I hadn't gotten rid of Bugs, something would have happened. Maybe he would have been jealous or something. Okay, so it says I don't need any special items to complete Jerome, Cindy, or the teacher. I'm thinking we'll do the teacher next because I kind of have an idea now of how to get that one started with bugs. So, all right, let's do the teacher next. She's pretty fun anyway. She's crazy. <laughs> um, can I bring some extra money to school? How do I... Can I control how much money I have? I guess not. That's kind of a shame. Was there... Do, do, do. Yeah. I got that. Eat apples, enter. Open planners, E. Is that it? No. Oh. Okay, whatever. I thought I saw, um, when I saw them play it before, that you could select how much money you need out of the piggy bank, but it's just automatically making me take out everything. So, whatever. Maybe they changed it later. That was years ago, so. Alright, let's go. Alright, you little brat. Uh, smell money. Yeah, someone's definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yes. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. You jerk. Fine. Good boy. Now don't go tell teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right. You jerk. Do I need anything else from anyone? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I miss Applegate. Uh, Bug stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What if he hurts me? It'll build character. Is this legal? Probably not, but if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Sure. Okay, how I love good a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Here we go with the, the brutal commentary. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. He got lost. 
Get out of here or I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. All for teacher. Bugs! How dare you attack another student unprovoked again? That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office, or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but... Go. Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Well, this is what happens when you're a bully. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. He has your gold star as promised. Thanks. Eh, now you've got to be thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? This time I'm gonna say, maybe we could. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. See you then. If you still have time, you might want to get rid of Cindy too. You could easily get her expelled if she falsely accuses you of something. You've thought a lot about this, haven't you? You bet I have. Talk to Monty. I'm sure he has something that could help exonerate you when she lies to get you in trouble. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I think I know exactly what she's talking about. Hey, Monty. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you for the right price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day, so come see me often. Here's what's for sale. Okay, I think we need the voice recorder then. Because uh, Jerome did say before that it's something for rats, right? So that's what we're going to do. It's a pretty cool gadget. It can help keep you out of trouble if someone ever accused you of something you didn't do. It's too fitty. Too fitty. What do you say? Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. Thanks. Oh, Cindy. Maybe it's time to get some revenge for Lily. Uh, can't talk to her? Oh, gotta get closer. That's pretty much touch them. <laughs> Hey there, kitty. I'm Sunday. Wanna be my boyfriend? I'm set through with bugs. Uh, what happened with bugs? We broke up. He was so jealous. He'll probably be mad if he sees me with someone else. It'd be smart to get rid of him. I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? <laughs> That's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Uh, why? Why? How about cause I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? I'm sold. What do I do? No. I, then she's just gonna tell us to put the gum in Lily's hair. So how about we insult her? You don't seem like any of those things. <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you taken out. How would you do that? I'd like to see you try. Ooh! I'm curious, but I also really, really, really want to see this. I want to say it! I'd like to see you try, witch! Fine! You asked for it! What are you gonna do? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no, this is so South Park, oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. Ray! Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh dearie me, what on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry rape. Which is not something you're supposed to ever say. Like, that's just horrible. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. You don't even know what that means, you little witch. Ah, oh, Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape. 
But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? What kind of nonsense is this? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah, cram your river. Tell it to the principal. Oh, oh. So, uh, this is the first time seeing the principal. Okay, um. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Oh, <sighs> great. Where are they in Bugs? Looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. Uh-oh. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two. Let's get this over with. Uh, Principal, he just threatened my life. Could you protect me, please? And why is the... His rug or whatever looks really weird, doesn't it? It looks all scratched up and stuff. Huh. Strange. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you, really, Cindy? Oh, and there's like a drag marks going under the... Oh, and there's blood. It's hard to see because the apples are there, but... Uh-oh. I think the principal's been up to something bad. Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. Well, I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you raped her, is that correct? Let's rape. Oh, l let's let's further make us all uncomfortable by talking about this. Uh, you swear a man, um, uh, do some stuff. You, you know what? Ask your parents. No, wait, don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it so I can move on with my life. I want to know what it is. It's not my job to teach you what it is. It's not something you're supposed to know until you're much older. Cindy knows what it is. No, she doesn't. If she did, we all wouldn't be here right now. <sighs> so what is it? I'm getting more sick of you than I am of having these maidens. If I give you a book, will you shut up and just deny the accusation? I'm tempted to say deal. I really want to know, but I feel like he might kill me. Is he gonna kill me, or...? Okay, that's it. I give up. Can't reason with you. So here, there's only one thing I can do. What's that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was right. He did kill me. Oh, no. I would take the deal next time. Dang it. I have to restart. Sorry, guys. I was too curious. I pushed him too far. Holy crap. Everybody here is like, if, if you don't, you know, you have to like walk on eggshells. Otherwise, everybody will just kill you. <sighs> oh, okay. We don't have much to do. They give you a book. Will you just shut up and just deny the accusation? Alright, deal. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident, you don't have any proof. There's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded the incident. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this, or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, hey, what? <sighs> okay, fine, but he started it. He said it was mean. Not good enough? I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorded in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No. Now why don't you run on back to class now? I don't think you missed enough learning for today. Sure. And I got a daughter. Uh, a dollar. So that's cool. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You would have earned a gold star. What if? Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes, the high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. 
I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's life, <laughs> rather than your own life, that Jerome took them. Okay. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Um... Why don't you just take it? I'm not allowed to such a student without probable cause. And Lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay. Okay, how are we going to do this? Because... Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Did you steal a hall pass? Wait, before I talk to him... Um, I'm scared to talk to bugs. Monty. What? You wanna be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense, so unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. I wanna buy something. Here's what's for sale. Give me the yo-yo. Heh. <laughs> Yo-yos. Don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for a dollar. What do you say? The deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Got the yo-yo. Now I'm gonna talk to Jerome. Okay, dude. Did you steal a hall pass? You mean this yo-yo? Aw, oh, come on. He told me he was gonna say that for me. Uh, I don't want to be his buddy. You can have it if you'll be my buddy, but I want the hall pass. Well, it's mine now. Oh, no. How do I do this? Ah. Uh, you can have it if you'll be my buddy. You've got a deal, and since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out, you know, as a friend. Like what? You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning, said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. Oh, what do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. Here we go. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Why don't you go? No way, I already got busted with a stolen pass before. The hall monitor, hall monitor will catch me no matter what. Fine, give me the pass. Awesome, it should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long, he checks back frequently. Got it. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long. So head straight for the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. Give me a minute. I'm gonna- can I talk to her? Well, did you get it? I haven't talked to him yet. No. Okay. You ready to do this? I won't be able to hold her attention for long. Maybe 50 seconds tops. Alright, I'm ready. Go distract her. So he gave me the hall pass, but instead of doing his, I have to talk to her. Give me just a minute. Jerome is distracting me. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I got the pass from Jerome. I I'm literally betraying him to his face. I knew it. Interesting. It shows that I failed his assignment, but I passed hers. That's so cool. Uh, let me see the hints. Get rid of Jerome during morning time by giving him a yo-yo and then giving the teacher's hall pass, which I just did. Talk to Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. Ah. Uh. Okay. I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach. We've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You ratted me out to the teacher? Dude, really not cool. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher, special, little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher special little suspended hooligan. Aw, oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. 
Man, stupid rat getting me in trouble. My dad is gonna kill me. Maybe literally? <laughs> oh, that was just perfect. You are natural at this. Let's get keep this kid removal train rolling. Oh my god, lady, come on. This is someone who's desperate to not have to work anymore. <laughs> just quit, dang it. Um, this happened right in front of everybody, so is anybody else gonna ever trust me again? How? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Kinda hard because I didn't talk to him at all yet. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Gain the trust of Nugget. Okay, before recess. Uh, the cubby thing, right? Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget, perhaps. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. Okay, I guess. Is that the right thing? Try and ratchet on as many of the kids as you can at lunch. I believe in you. Wait, did I screw up? Hey, don't go snooping around other people's cubbies. No, I might have screwed up. No. Dang, Nabbit. Um, is she really not gonna let me? The magnifying glass is right there. Hey, bugs. Where the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Good point. Help me. Lily? Oh, I don't really do the morning buddy thing anymore. Okay. Shoot. I think I have to restart. No! Now I have to talk to Nugget again. Now I'm gonna say, do you want to be friends? Ooh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone, and eats lunch alone, and lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend if... If what? You eat this nugget. That's it? I thought you told me not to eat it before. Yes, do this for Nugget and we will be friends. Okay, eat the nugget. Good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. We will dine together at lunch. Nugget will see you then. Okay. Is that it? Nothing else? Do you need anything else from Monty? <sighs> Screwdriver, cigarettes, I don't know. I guess that's it, so... Try and run. Alright. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. Okay. I know I have to try to get rid of some of them at lunch. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget, the nugget you consumed was very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poisoned the nugget. I'm gonna die? What the frick, Nugget? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. I completely missed that. Yes, he does that every day. But today, Nugget is poison. And you are going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. Alright, how do I poison him? Here is another Nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is far more... potent. Just get Nugget... Oh, wow. Just get bugs to eat it. Ah, uh, just give me the antidote. Fine. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. Um, how do I get rid of, please don't sit with me, I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother, okay. Monty, uh, double man can't spell right. Salad, oh, mind. Do I, to... I feel like I have to do other, because they said to get rid of the others. Brisket balls, get your brisket balls here. Get them out of their heart. Oh yeah, I forgot that. 
You spelled biscuit wrong. Is something happened from this? What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You couldn't even read. Monty can. Oh, is that the dream with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Uh oh. Um, uh. What do you. No, I think I gave the wrong voice there. What do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Let this be a lesson to you about- Oh my god! Whoa, poor Monty! Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. There, lessons were learned, lines were drawn. Was that more the voice I gave him? Dang, nabbit. I need to really remember voices. Okay, holy crap. You're a good kid for letting me know that the little monster's going around collecting, correcting spelling. You're in a school of all places. Shameful the way kids turn out these days in a school. Uh, is he dead? What? No. I just hit him till he got all twitchy. He'll be fine in a year or two. It's a long time. Just let the old janitor know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that will happen again. Uh, his glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have him. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. Okay, Lily just left. Uh, you said I have to do something to bugs, right? Yo, bugs. I'm so sorry, Monty. I guess I can't buy anything from him from now on. Ah, uh, oh, what did you say to him? You should just rest now. Just rest. Shh. Go to the light. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. No way a worm like you is gonna be sitting with me. I didn't want to sit with you anyway. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Oh, the apple means this must be correct. Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I won't eat a stupid nugget? Uh, he liked Cindy, so... What? Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy. Well, she won't, if you eat this nugget. Yeah, give me the nugget. I'll show her. Mm. Yeah, you showed her all right. Mm. All right. So... <sighs> what else do I do? Is it done? This bug's been poisoned. It's done. Wonderful. Nugget. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god. Nugget is quite pleased. What you say is true. Bugs should die any moment now. Oh, and there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Take the antidote. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. Okay, I have two apples left. Um, ma'am? Oh, you doing there, sonny? I don't want slop. Can you go to the bathroom? Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kiddies out in the hall during lunch. But maybe you could do a little something if, if you wanted me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Ah, how convenient. These old eyes can't read the menu without him. See if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out. Yeah, sure, because any pair of glasses just works for any eyes. <laughs> I wish. Ah, uh, found some glasses. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Thanks. I would feel bad, but he was kind of a meanie. Walk away from the corpse of bugs. Damn. All right. Oh. I was wondering what else I have to do out here. What are you doing here, Lily? Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Walk away from Lily. You'll get in trouble, you say? Is this what I'm supposed to do? This is the door to the principal's office. Oh, I can knock on the door. <gasps> get her in trouble. Yes. I was wondering how I was going to get rid of Lily. This, this works. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. 
What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. We were eavesdropping. Lily was eavesdropping on you. I'm sorry, Lily. I feel bad, but it is what it is. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? Also eavesdropping. I knocked to let you know. Yep. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office, now. Oh. Please excuse me for a moment. Um, oh my god. She's totally dead. Well, rip. I feel bad. Okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Was that a gunshot? You're covered in blood. What? Oh, this? No, it's uh, ketchup. You're very observant. Right. Listen very carefully. Lily's going to be punished very severely for being observant. Do you understand? Yep. Good. Now get to research. Sure. I'm, I'm leaving. I catch what you're saying. <laughs> well done. You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs. That's unprecedented. You've earned three gold stars. Thanks. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes. Excellent. You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yes, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I've no way to prove how dangerous it is, and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Uh, why don't you go? Does it look like I'd be able to fit down that hole? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rude! So, would you stop laughing and help me? What do you need me to do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much, just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know. I just know there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Uh, okay, okay. Good. Come back when it's done. Okay. I just want to look around the... Is there anything else we can do here? Oh, there's something here. There's a Monstermon card lying on the ground here. Yay! I was just wondering if we could interact with the slide, but guess not. If I touch these, something bad might happen, right? Because of that riddle. Red glint. Can't even climb up there. Okay. Just curious. What's up, Nugget? I'm totally your friend. I'm totally not here to betray you. Thank you for coming, as Nugget asked. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget Cave? Yep. Excellent. But first, Nugget must do something. What's that? Oh, are you... Ma sir? Boy? Kid? Boy? <laughs> are you... Did you just poop a whole bunch of stuff out? What the hell was that? There. Now we are ready. Why did you just drop all those nuggets in the hole? Of course they were nuggets. Of course they were. So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please, enter the nugget cave. Alright. I guess we're in there. <laughs> I guess we survived. Welcome to the nugget cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Uh, okay. Uh... This looks creepy. There's a monster on card lying here next to some disintegrating skulls. Yay. Oh my god, no. Is that Cindy's dog? That's so sad. No, I'm horrified. Ooh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Is it dead? I mean, dude. Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not to bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. 
Ah, take the dog. That's what we needed. So what's this then? Can we not interact with this? It looks like a picture of someone. I can't interact? I guess not. No? Okay, I guess that's it. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Nugget Cave? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, teacher, I found something horrible down there. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh, dear me, is that... Is that... Oh, funny. My dog just worked. <laughs> Kiki, no. Is that Cindy's dog? So if Cindy had been alive right now, what would have happened? Would she have freaked out? Nugget! What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never... Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. <laughs> he says after poisoning me and then poisoning... Or using me to poison bugs. Don't lie to me! Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. <gasps> yeah, that makes sense. Because I think Cindy had said that he took her dog away because she wanted to bring it to show and tell. And then it supposedly escaped his janitor closet. Oh no, that's horrible. I know, it was you! Uh oh. She Did she just knock him down with her boobs? Oh my, that was unfortunate. But wait, the Nuggets were there, so is he okay? Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. Cool. Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. I guess all that's left for me to do is to kill you. That's probably what's gonna happen, right? So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. Hey, she's not gonna kill me. Yay! You can use it any time you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I can uh I can earn either you I think that's a typo you can earn a gold star or you can start walking home choice is yours oh wait you're gonna earn the gold star by killing me is that what you mean <laughs> or you can start working walking home choice is yours I'll walk home then good I'll see you tomorrow toodles <laughs> all right achievement unlock teacher's pet we got the lunch pass. And we got, what, three? Two. Two Monster Monk cards. Literally Grass and Wizard Worm. All right. Not bad, not bad. Monday again. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day.